Many so-called popular facts are deeply inaccurate. Don't drink milk when you have a cold. Huh, that one's hard to swallow. Tomato sauce blocks the smell of a skunk. Something smells fishy there, and it isn't the skunk. Probably because it's not a fish. Anyway, I'm gonna blow the lid off what you thought you knew. I'm Mike with List25, and these are 25 well-known facts that are actually wrong AF. As the kids say these days, it actually stands for as 25. You should stretch before exercising. By stretching your muscles, you make yourself nice and loose and reduce the risk of hurting yourself. <sighs> Not really. Research released in the past few years shows you can still suffer injuries, stretching or not. As for being loosey-goosey, that's not a guarantee either. Some people actually perform worse after a good stretch. As with any workout, you should read up and ask around before taking the plunge and possibly tearing a ligament. 24. Cholesterol is bad. It is. But in chicken eggs, it seems okay. I, I want to be super clear. I am not a doctor, and I am not a chicken either. However, scientists have observed how egg cholesterol doesn't appear as unhealthy as other types. The surprising benefit of eating eggs include potentially fighting the eye condition and macular degeneration. Obviously, see your doctor or nutritionist about this, but cholesterol isn't always a dirty word. 23. Human ears and dog ears. Everyone knows that seven human years equals one dog year. Only it doesn't. That old adage turns out to be shaggier than a Scooby-Doo convention. It, Scooby's not that shaggy, he's a Great Dane. Anyway, yes, dogs age faster than we do, but not that fast. Uh, bonus fact, small dogs live longer than large dogs. And no one knows why. 22. Garlic repels mosquitoes. Crowd of mosquitoes spoiling your day? Did you run out of bug spray? Well, why not try garlic? There's something about garlic that'll send those pesky insects packing. Yeah, good luck with that. A 2005 study debunked that stinky idea. Although it does do a pretty good job of repelling humans, I'll tell you that. I like garlic, it smells amazing. 21, tomato sauce trumps a skunk. Speaking of smelly pests, oh, poor skunk. If you've been sprayed by a skunk, then tomato sauce should fix the problem. Or rather, if you smother yourself in the stuff, you'll certainly reek of tomatoes. The trouble is the skunk odor stays right there. Wash off the tomatoes and resurrect the funk. If you really want to actually get rid of it, then you need a concoction made of hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and dish soap. This is not one you really want to try at home, though. Stay outside and try this one. 20. Oil and pasta are good bedfellows. What do you think oil is going to do when you splash it on pasta? Unstick it? <laughs> nope. It'll stay that way. And what's worse, you'll wind up with a pasta slick. All your sauce will slide off and disappear to the bottom of the dish. Best to get your timing sorted out instead and cook the food properly to ensure it's a more pleasant experience. 19. Vitamin C helps during cold and flu season. It is good for you, but vitamin C doesn't fend off the cold and flu. It may reduce symptoms if you have it in your system before the infection strikes. However, reaching for an orange when you're all bunged up is not going to help anyone. You'll probably be doing giant zesty sneezes all over the place. 18. Yellowstone Volcano Eruption How weird is it that there's a volcano at Yellowstone that could go off at any moment? Will it though? Factor in the lack of information we have about previous eruptions, and it doesn't look at all likely. I mean, the most recent one was reportedly 0.631 million years ago, with an interval of at least several hundred thousand years between the three big pops we know of. Technically, it might go boom in 100,000 years, but there's no super compelling evidence for this. Is there enough magma down there also? That well, sounds vague AF to me. Do I look cool? I feel cool. Cool AF. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> 17. Dairy boosts your mucus. Drink your milk, boost your mucus. Not, <laughs> not for fun, of course. This fact relates to when you have a cold. 
Dairy isn't the best option to go for, the old advice says, because it makes you a whole lot phlegmier. Research from 1948 debunked this, yet the idea still persists. At best, it appears to be a trick of the mind. 16. Warts and Toads Rub a toad and get a wart. <laughs> Relax, this one isn't even remotely true. Toads certainly look warty, but they can't help that. What you're seeing on their skin are glands, not warts. So you can rub those amphibians to your heart's content. Just stay away from me, you weirdo. 15. Searing your meat. This one is really going to surprise you. Searing meat does not seal in the juice. Nature takes its course with things like that. The results taste good whether you sear a nice crust on your dinner or not. What happens to the juice and fat then? It's dealt with by the cooking process. Wet stuff evaporates and fat drips away. 14. Alpha Wolf You're about to look at the Hangover movies a whole different way. A wolf pack does not usually feature a dominant male, also known as the Alpha. When you see a bunch of wolves, you're actually looking at a family unit. Alphas were first observed back in the middle of the 20th century because experts focused on captive wolves. Out in the wild, however, things are seemingly a lot less tense and more civilized. 13. A great white will mistake you for a seal. Sharks are actually smarter than you think. The old image of Jaws looking up at someone on a surfboard and seeing a juicy seal is marine bunkum. They know you're a human, and they know you're juicy too. Just watch out for sharks regardless, as, as a general rule. 12. Mice love cheese. If you see a mouse in your house and you aren't terrified out of your wits, well then you might want to give them some cheese, because mice love cheese. Well, they'll eat it, but they also eat sugar. They don't have a particular fondness for cheese. Uh, on a related note, the jury is still out on whether cheese gives people nightmares. And speaking of mice, do you know what else they love? That's right, List 25 merch, like this awesome shirt I'm wearing. And guess what? You can win one yourself because we are giving away two shirts this coming Friday. All you have to do is subscribe, turn on your notifications and comment where you're from and we'll pick two random winners. And you know what, if you don't win, you can still buy some cool merch. These aren't the only two shirts we have, I promise. It's just the ones we're giving away. So we'll have two winners on Friday. I don't know when this video is coming out, so it could be a day or two from now. But yeah, get to it, win some awesome merch. And if you don't, buy some for you and your friends and family. Mother's Day is coming up? This is March. That's still, yeah, start shopping now. Perfect. Nailed it. Mmm. 11. House flies live for 24 hours. It's assumed this is the case based on... What? No, it isn't clear. Maybe the fact the fly can be easily swatted gives us the impression that its life cycle is so short. In fact, an average fly can go on buzzing for over two weeks. Some are still alive after a couple of months. It could be that the flies you keep seeing are actually one aging fly. You wouldn't kill an old man, would you? 10. You swallow your own tongue during a seizure. How easy is it to uh, swallow your own tongue? While a seizure is a violent thing, it isn't forceful enough for that to happen. In fact, you're likely to injure someone another way in that situation if you place stuff in their mouth. Actually, the whole business of swallowing your tongue in the first place is an impossibility. It's too deeply connected to your tissue to move like that. Nine, rust can give you tetanus. Rusty nails are dangerous for all kinds of reasons. Trust me, I know, I stepped on three of them filming a List 25 video years ago, but the rust itself won't give you tetanus. Of course, that doesn't mean the nail has no tetanus bacteria on it. This nasty stuff comes from elsewhere. A trip to the doctor is recommended in any case. And if you check out my Instagram, you'll scroll back a couple of years, you'll, you'll see my trip to the doctor after landing on, yep, Sometimes I film barefoot and I landed on three rusty nails. It was the one where I was jumping backwards like a kangaroo. Used to be on our old trailer, so if you remember that one, I injured myself during that stunt. Yeah, it was kangaroos can't jump backwards, but Mike from List 25 can, and I did, mm, yep, terrible. Eight, you need to drink a lot of water. 
One of the most annoying things about drinking lots of water is the effect that it has on your bladder. Staying hydrated can cut down productivity because you're running to the john every five minutes. What's the solution? Don't drink lots of water. You don't necessarily have to. Not all water comes from water bottles, right? Fruit and vegetables are a source of hydration too. There's no need to monotonously knock back pints of water like a goldfish. Seven, nuts interfere with your colon. If you haven't heard of diverticulitis, then you've probably heard of nuts getting launched in your colon. Sufferers of diverticulitis have pockets in their colon lining. Foods such as nuts and seeds could potentially get stuck in these pockets and inflame them on their way through the digestive system. However, medical science shows that the evidence for this is not convincing enough. Six, human ashes. Turns out that farewell to your loved one isn't as straightforward as it looks. Yes, a body is burned at the crematorium, though the deceased also needs to pay a visit to a scary machine called a cremulator. Like the giant in the story, it grinds your bones. Not to make bread, but ashes. Which aren't really ashes, but pulverized skeleton. Five, plastic surgery involves plastic. When someone has a nose job or breast implants, they're not made of plastic. The word plastic itself comes from the Greek plastikos. This word relates to molding shapes. A surgeon will use silicone and Gore-Tex, and yeah, you heard that right, like the stuff coats are made of, but they won't use plastic. Four, piranhas are crazy about meat. Yes, you might be in a little bit of trouble if a school of piranhas surrounds you while you're out swimming, but they'll go for your hands and feet. Nasty, but far from the feeding frenzy presented in movies. Oh, and uh, they eat other things besides flesh. You might witness a whole grain frenzy or a fig frenzy instead. Three, cracking knuckles causes arthritis. Stop cracking your knuckles or you'll regret it when you're older because someone may have beaten you up by that time for always cracking your damn knuckles. Arthritis? Well, there's no conclusive evidence that cracking your knuckles can lead to that. It might affect your grip or lead to other injuries though. This will just, this will just keep happening. Two, dropping a penny from a great height can kill you. A penny can become a lethal weapon when dropped from the top of a building. Well, it might give you a bump anyway. We have an image of a dropped coin getting faster and faster until it slices into our skull like a buzzsaw. The truth is a lot less bloody. If anything, it slows down on its descent and won't exceed terminal velocity. One, how Harrison Ford got the role of Han Solo. It wasn't because he was a carpenter. Ford is good with his hands, but he had his sights set on acting. He actually read dialogue for other hopefuls while George Lucas was trying to work out who to cast. Lucas saw that he was more than just a stand-in and offered him the role. This came as a surprise for Ford, who didn't think he was the actor George was looking for. So, what are some other facts that you know that aren't actually true? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content, join our shirt contest, and you know what? Look, maybe you knew all these because you paid attention in school. Well, guess what? We have a whole nother list of facts your teachers didn't tell you. A link to that is right here. This, I'm Vanna Whiting this. So don't forget to subscribe, like I said, and I'll see you soon for another list. And good luck on the shirt contest. I believe in all of you, all two of you who'll actually win.